Uh, this is question is for uh, Jim Waddell. Um, what action should the next board take to address concerns of flooding and drainage issues in Hampton? Wow. <laughs> that's that's a huge question, and, and you know it's one that we have a Warren article right now to do a study on the flooding and the study on on the uh, uh, the issue. You know we need to be proactive. We can't be reactive. We need to we need to know what how we're going to deal with it, what the potential is. I mean, there's no doubt that the sea rise is rising, that, that the level of the floods is becoming more and more, and we need to come up with issues that are going to. You're not going to stop the water, but how can we mitigate the damage that's being done? You know, what can we do with new buildings, raising them up on stilts, maybe moving the electrical to the second or third floor. So there are, there are a variety of issues, but the, the most important thing is to stay proactive, to stay on top of it, to make sure that our infrastructure is in good shape, that all our drainage, that the state drainage is open, that it's able to flow. So I think being proactive is the most important aspect of that. Brian, you are a member of the zoning board. You've, you've had <laughs> lots of uh, probably beach proposals, construction proposals come before you. Do you have any comment on, on what um, the Board of Selectmen could do to address the, the, the flooding issues? I, I think uh, Jim hit it right on the head there. They're, we're talking about the Atlantic Ocean. Um, it goes all the way to Europe. And when it comes up, there's on the back, if we're talking about the back strip, there's everything is below sea level there when the tide comes up you there's nothing you can do my business is down there it's always flooded it seems it appears to be getting a little bit worse than it has been in the past but you can't drain the ocean there's nowhere you could drain that to so I agree with what Jim said there with perhaps how you build stuff down there and what you want to do my business is down there and we had six inches of water for three days in there and there's you know the tide goes out the water goes out tide comes back in the water comes back in and you just kind of you have to go along with it and deal with it um, as far as how you build houses in the future in those areas that's something you could address um, I, I know I'm 134 so it's two doors down they just did a, a project down there where it was a condo complex in the way that they were able to work and do that with drainage inside it and building it up a little bit none of that property floods whatsoever so maybe more steps like that in the future when we build in that area would be something that we could do Tim? Well, I think that to say we need to continue to be proactive suggests we already are proactive, and I don't see that productivity. Uh, you, uh, Selectman Waddell has been on the planning uh, board as a Selectman's representative now for well over a year. I didn't see any proactivity relative to flooding at all there. And to suggest that we can do nothing at all is to me, uh, you know, uh, not acceptable. I mean, public health, flooding is a public health issue. Good drinking water is a public health issue. Public health issues are number one issue for government, period. No question about that. Yeah, we have a harbor that is full of sand. It needs to be dredged. We need more places for the water to go to that we find it acceptable for it to be in. One of them is the harbor. That harbor absolutely needs to be dredged. We need to find more places where, where we want the water to go so that the water is not going to be inclined to go where we don't want it to be. And that's the solution to the flooding. You can't say to the water, or oh, we don't want you here. We have to encourage it to go somewhere else, somewhere else that's acceptable. Thank you. Mayor Louise? Yes, the flooding is a problem. It will continue to be a problem. Probably 50 years from now, part of the beach will not be habitable. Um, you could consider a houseboat for your business. Yeah. <laughs> um, the uh, the river the river is flooding too. Obviously, it's all coming in from the ocean. Uh, I don't go along with people building their ho um, homes higher, because what are they going to do? Look out and see both of their cars floating in the yard. I think the planning board has a large responsibility for this, and they have allowed building in a lot of wet areas, and that is going to cause huge, huge problems for this community in the future. Bob, may I have one second? Sure. Sure. I think the planning board would be surprised to hear that they've not been proactive at all. I think they've talked about elevation for, for buildings and stuff. I think they have been proactive. I think they've been on it. And I think you have to realize with the ocean, with the marsh, with everything else, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So just diverting the water sometimes is going to divert it to another place. So you have to be extremely careful about how you do that. Mm. So I think, you know, I think 
Brian had the right answer. It's the Atlantic Ocean. It's going to be hard to stop it. You have to, if you're going to do any diverting of it, you have to make sure you know what you're doing. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Well, All right. Uh, let me just jump to another thing. I understand we could talk directed about it. at me. Uh, well, I think it was a it was a follow up. It was follow up. That's what I'd like to do. Okay, I'm going to let you do that. But first, I want to go right around the table.